Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jonathan with Project Northeast. And uh, this is probably gonna be one of the hardest videos I've ever made. <laughs> this is how they do this in the movies, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just can't do it. Anyway, one of the hardest videos I've ever had to make because honestly, I had the worst crash I've had in 25 years of mountain biking. I'm about eight weeks post surgery, as you can see. Still got the awesome scar going from it. So I'm healing, I'm getting better, but for a while there, um, I didn't want to watch the footage back you know, for obvious reasons. And uh, we were down in Frederick, Maryland, riding with the crew, um, and did a rock drop, made stupid mistakes, and uh, paid the price for it. But let's get into the video. We'll watch it, talk it through, what happened, what I did wrong, um, what I plan to do in the future to, you know, help mitigate those risks of doing it again. Because I really don't want to be end up uh, going to the emergency room and having a six inch titanium plate put in my shoulder again. But you know what it is? It's people like us. We just don't. I don't know. I'm not gonna stop riding. Will it make me rethink doing things? I've yet to see. I don't know. But let's get into the video and uh, let's go. All right, drop in the Koopa. Leading the train. Got Craig behind me, Charlie, Stefan, Glenn, and Keith. A late fall leaf ripping makes it a little bit more interesting. We're down in uh, Maryland and I was feeling really good on the bike. Like, I mean, I had just come off of uh, racing an EWS qualifier, you know, first time in the 40s. Ended up getting a closing spot. I just come off of that and riding and every week at Highland. I was feeling so good on the bike. You know, I guess it comes down to those one of those things where sometimes you're over overly confident. And that's when you get hit. Pride comes before a fall, right? You. So here's the drop that kind of took me out and a lot of the guys were sessioning it. I showed it to them. I hit it before when I was down there. So I showed the drop to them and they were all sessioning it and then I made the biggest mistake. But let's watch them session it first. It was my idea, so I guess I gotta hit it. All right, so right there, we have the first mistake I made. I wasn't feeling it, um, feeling so good on the bike, had that confidence. I was like, you know what? Everybody else is hitting it. I'm gonna hit it. This thing made me nervous because last time I nose gazed it hard. This drop, drop it. <laughs> Okay, so right here was mistake number two, obviously. I didn't do the right speed for the drop. So what I did was I overcompensated, trying to get too far back on the bike, rode it in the back seat, butt buzz the tire, and then... Oh. 
Yep. I'm okay. Okay. Stay there for a second, please. Go, uh, speed up. Ankles, knees. You're not moving hips. that arm, you're holding it. I think it might be. Shoulder. All right. Something. Just take a breath. You don't want to move it at all. It's collarbone. Back. Yep. I can tell. Yep. It's way out. Your shoulders drop about three inches too. Yeah, clean break. No, that was a very calm explanation for the GoPro. Yeah, yep, clean break. <laughs> I was gonna be like, ah! <laughs> Do you wanna make a sling for it? Uh, yeah, it's for the walk. You're not gonna wanna move that Yeah, especially if that car How did that feel doing that? Huh? How did that feel doing that? What? Breaking the car wall? No, wiggling your shoulder like that. I mean, I, I don't wanna move it. Well, I don't want you to either. Just... Anywhere other than that, but okay. I mean, it feels fine. Well, that's where we need to strap it then. That's what I'm saying. Oh. You look good, and then you you just nosed over. I knew I did it as soon as I went off of it. I was like, buzz my ass. I got too far back, mm. and just like. Why'd you have to one up me? Sorry, boys. No, no, you sorry, brother. Apologize. That's what we do, Holmes. Oh yeah. Are you that's what okay? we do? No. You want your live bottle? That's what it is, eh? Right? The adrenaline pumping right yeah. now. How long is your humerus? This is not your first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if it's, we can make it based on comfort levels, just put it over your neck like a necklace and then you come in like that. We gotta be real careful on exit too. No fucking cupcake walk on these leaves on these rocks. It was about a mile and a half walk out. And on the way out, I decided to just get some footage of the guys and, of course, fall on my butt. Well, I broke myself. What the hell? That's it. These guys are an awesome crew. They helped me out. Follow them on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, Craig, yeah. Stefan, right? Yes, sir. All right. Peace out. So at this moment, I was mostly just honestly pissed at myself. Um, and honestly, I was mad because, you know, I felt bad, like, we had to walk out, and the thing that I was thinking about the whole time on the walk out was like, you know, what the heck, we're eight hours from home, now my buddy has to drive me home. We had to drive back to the campsite, he had to pack up all his gear, load it in the van, I was no help, I had one good arm, and could barely dress myself and change out of my gear. So he had to load all the stuff in the van, he had to drive me back eight hours, to the emergency room because I didn't want to stay down there and get in one of those ERs down in Maryland and like all they're going to do is tell me it's broken and send me to an orthopedist so we drove straight home it was about noon time when it happened went back to campsite grabbed everything drove all the way home he dropped me off at the ER um, at about 11 30 at night and then my wife met me there well guys I'm in the ER they didn't like my team granite sweatshirt sling so they gave me a different one. I'm at the orthopedics. I'm gonna walk in there. We're gonna look at the x-rays and see what the plan is from here. Well, as you can guess, I'm at the hospital. I needed surgery, so going in to get it right now. Two hours later. <laughs> so basically I got home, I got diagnosed at the ER, and that was Saturday night. And then orthopedist on Monday, and then I couldn't go for surgery until the following Friday. So I had to basically deal with my shoulder drop two inches and my bone pushing on the back side of my chest muscle for about a week but anyway for surgery I couldn't eat anything from Thursday night at midnight until my surgery was scheduled for 3 30 the next day so by the time I got out of surgery it was like six o'clock and I still hadn't eaten anything and let me tell you fig newton best thing I ever tasted even though I was probably, probably pretty high as a kite after surgery but Best tasting uh, Fig Newton I've ever had. To what? Or was that a peace sign? I thought you meant two Fig Newtons. 
You want the other one? Yep. You want all the big Newtons? Well, it's about a week later after surgery. Recovering pretty good, not in too much pain. I got my first follow up, so we'll see how it goes. Everything looked good, um, seemed to be okay. My doctor said, uh, keep on going, keep healing, keep resting. So I just had my seven week or seven weeks post-surgery update. Everything looks good. Um, scars healing good, you know, it is pretty numb in here. I have no feeling like all around here. There was some nerve damage and stuff like that. But other than that, stuff's healing up well. He did say, since I'm an old man, not to do any uh, contact sports yet. I have been able to get out on the fat bike a little bit um, for a couple rides. Just, uh, he told me basically, uh, don't fall, which I said, I can do that. You know, if I'm on a fat bike, it's so slow. And, you know, I got studs in my fat bike for the first time ever, just so I wouldn't fall. Um, and I also said, you know, in the title of this video that I would use this as an opportunity to do a 4,000 subscriber update. So uh, I just want to say thank you. Appreciate all of your support. Couldn't do this without everybody's support. Um, I'm up to, I think right now we're at 43.50, I think. And uh, it just continues to grow and I'm blown away. I appreciate um, all the feedback. You don't know how far positive feedback goes. Um, when you guys comment on the videos and everything else, it really keeps me going. Um, so what's coming up on the channel? Well. We've got a bunch of stuff. I've got a bunch of, you know, dream build videos that we're working on while we're, you know, not able to ride and stuff like that. Conditions are icy. Um, and we've got all kinds of other stuff coming up. We've got stuff left over from Idaho and uh, Utah. Some really awesome, awesome riding. If you ever have a chance to get out there, definitely get out there. Uh, we've got more Bike the Lights stuff. And coming up in the future for the channel, we've got more work with the, hopefully with the White Mountain Trail Collective with Ride NoCo. Um, and now it looks like we'll hopefully be partnering up with doing some media for uh, a new public bike park in Wolfboro, um, which is going to be the first of its kind in New Hampshire, which I am blown away about. I am so excited about it. Um, and I think it's the one thing that we've been missing here in New Hampshire. I was supposed to go up there and do a little preview for you guys, and uh, that was right when I got injured. So, and then I've also got a Ride Noco. I've got the new trail in Ride Noco that's coming up. Um, so stay tuned for that. I've got a preview video for that. And uh, yeah, couldn't do this without you guys, and I appreciate it. I just want to give a special thanks to all those guys that helped me out um, out of the woods, and also to uh, my good buddy Glenn that drove me all the way home and. Specifically, my family, my wife, you know, if your partner is anything like my wife, then, uh, you know, the instant thing is, oh my gosh, you broke yourself. You're never going to do this again, right? Ah, uh, well, for now, <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, I mean, I'm going to heal up and, and get back out there because that's, I don't know. Will I learn from this? Yes. I think the main things that I learned is uh, what I already knew, but I didn't practice this time, you know. If you're not feeling it, skip it. And uh, if you're going to do it, make sure you get the right speed for it. And it actually kind of got me reevaluating re my own technique and saying, you know what, maybe I need to focus less on speed, focus less on jumping, and maybe I need to work on my technique. Um, a little bit more and dial that in. So that's one thing I'm going to do for myself um, in this upcoming season. All right, guys, appreciate it. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Um, head over to Patreon and uh, if you want to su help support the channel, buy me a beer, burrito, whatever it is. If you want to just throw some love out there. Um, and then we'll see you out there. See you on the next video.